Hey guys, Alex here from Sea Eagle Boats. And today, I wanna to take you out on the paddle ski. So today on the 437 paddle ski, I have a little something special in store for you. I actually brought the quick sale. We got uh, tons of people asking for it on YouTube, so I wanna show you what it's actually like using. So uh, it's a downwind sail, and uh, right now the wind is moving back towards the uh, launch ramp that I'm, that I'm launching from. So I'm gonna use the electric motor I brought. So today I'm gonna to be using the Water Snake Venom 34 with actually a super lightweight lithium ion battery made by Relyon. It's a really just a, a cool battery. It's 20 amp hours, 12.8 volts, and it weighs just about five, five pounds. And that's gonna be good enough to, uh, to you know, last, last me the few hours that I'm gonna be on the water, but it just beats those, those big 100 pound 100 pound lead acid batteries that uh, no one wants to carry around it defeats the purpose of a lightweight setup So I'm gonna be using that new rely on lithium-ion battery and I'm gonna be using this water snake venom 34 and the water snake venom 34 it uh 34 pounds of thrust and it should move this boat on just nicely. I'll uh, I'll clock that on the speedometer I'll also clock the speed I get with the quick sail. We have about five to ten mile an hour wind So nothing crazy, but hopefully we can get a get some good speeds for you. The Water Snake Venom 34 requires a 40 amp inline fuse or circuit breaker. If you don't have a circuit breaker, you can bolt an AMI or MIDI fuse to the terminal like I've done here. Then connect the alligator clips from the motor to the top of the fuse and the other terminal. So right now I'm just uh I'm cruising away from the launch ramp. I'm, uh, right now I'm running at top speed with this uh with this electric motor, and uh, we're actually against the wind and the current, and we're moving along. Let's uh let's see what we get get on the speedometer. So as you guys can see, I'm getting four to five miles an hour going against the current and the wind, which is pretty good for this. This little uh, lightweight motor and uh, and battery combination. I mean, I'm just cruising along here. So uh, right now the plan is just to head head down the river a little bit, and then uh, and then hopefully sail all the way back. So some of the features I want to point out on this electric motor is that it has an extendable tiller handle, which is just great when, uh, you know, you're driving around, you, you're in a weird position, you want to you move the handle. It extends in and out, which, which is great, easily. Um, also, it's fully adjustable height-wise, so if you feel like the motor's not grabbing the water as much as you think it should, you can lower it a little bit deeper, you can raise it up. And then uh, also it has the full tilt features. So it has a bunch of little cool features. Like I said, it's a 34 pound thrust uh, electric outboard. So it really doesn't burn too much, too much battery out here. And like I showed you before, we'll push the boat four to five, at least this boat, four to five miles an hour, which, which is really great for the size of motor it, it is. So uh, we offer this package, the, uh, we offer the paddle ski with the Water Snake 34 Venom on our website. It's a great combo and it's it's pretty inexpensive. So if you're looking for a package to get out there, fish, it's a, it's a really a good option. So uh, to talk a little more about the battery, the battery I'm using is a lithium ion phosphate battery. Like I said, it weighs about five pounds. It's rated at 20 amp hours and 12.8 volts. So it's gonna last a decent amount of time on the water. If you're not going full speed, that is the whole time. Um, and it's <laughs> just the biggest thing. It's only it only weighs five pounds. The same same lead acid battery is gonna is gonna weigh about sixty pounds, and uh, it just, in my opinion, defeats the whole purpose of of what you're trying to do with these lightweight boats and trolling motor packages. So the quick sail can break in half, and uh, it fits in a nice little carry bag. But when you take it out, you uh, you just connect the two two halves together, put on the sail. And it's a uh, yeah one one big sail to uh, to catch all the wind. 
I'm going to start cruising a little bit down this river and uh, the wind picked up a little bit, so I'm, I'm kind of excited. Let's give it a go. So as you guys saw, with just about uh, five miles an hour of wind, I was able to uh, I was able to sail upriver against the against the current. And yeah, I wasn't able to clock it for you because flying a drone and uh, and sailing a boat is is not the easiest thing thing to do. But in open water, you could definitely get a, a at least a few miles an hour paddling and and sailing at the same time. It really is a a great means to to get you know back up to where you were go where you came from with just sail power and uh, yeah it's nice it saves you battery and uh, saves you time so now I'm just uh, cruising back up river towards towards the launch spot um, I enjoyed a little while of you know sailing around motoring motoring about with this uh, this great package like I said this water snake 34 just uh, just really pushes you along nice and this this battery combination is huge. I was just uh, thinking to myself, there's almost no point in going electric if you're gonna get a huge battery to go along with it. So I really believe a lithium-ion battery, with the uh, with the prices come have, they've come down, you know, it's just the better option to go. This battery is only five pounds, and uh, I still have plenty of charge charge left. So one way I always like to describe to customers the paddle ski is that it's like a hybrid. It's a great cross between a kayak and a boat. So you're sitting down so you can paddle with uh, one or two people and also you can uh, put up to a six horsepower motor on it. So it, it's a great cross between a boat and a kayak and it really allows you to do a lot of things. It gets up in shallow water easily. Um, yeah, it's perfect for rivers like this, for lakes, for, uh, for bays, and it actually handles spray very well. So it's definitely a recommended boat for someone who, who wants something that's lightweight enough that you can easily throw it in the bed of your pickup truck or quickly roll it up and put it in the back of your car. It's, a, it's a really a great boat. This was just a quick video for you guys hanging out on the paddle ski with the electric motor and quick sail. But uh, yeah, comment below if you like this video, if you like our other videos, and uh, also comment some video ideas you have for us. We're happy to do it and show you all our products. Thanks, guys.